Hi, I'm Mary Rogers, and this is the Pro Custom 11 11 cup food processor. It has a nice square base on the bottom, and inside is an induction motor, which is really powerful, and it's so powerful it's able to knead really heavy doughs. It has um, a BPA free work bowl, and it has a large feed tube, which is expandable, and you can also lock it when you're not using it for um, slicing and shredding. You just slide this on press it down to lock it into place and it also has inside a small feed tube which allows you to add ingredients when you're food processing or you can even use it to slice and shred. So that's your small food pusher. The way you activate the food processor it has paddle controls. You just press the on button and it runs continuously. Press the off button and it will stop. You can also use this button to pulse intermittently. So you just press it down. We usually say hold it down for in increments of one second or less. And that gives you a really great control over your processing needs. So let's look at some of the accessories that come with your food processor. First, you have your S blade or chopping blade. Always hold it by the plastic hub. This um, you will get a lot of use out of. It's for mixing, pureeing, um, also uh, doing things like um, mincing. So if you want to mince a, fine, a, glo a clove of garlic, it's able to do that. The next item is your dough blade. This is used for any amounts of dough over three cups. If you're using less than three cups, say if you're doing pie crust, use your S blade. This dough blade is meant to be used for pizza dough, bread dough, any type of yeast-based doughs. Next, you have three discs. The one in the front is the two millimeter disc. That's great for slicing potatoes really thin for, thin for like an au gratin. Your next one is a four millimeter disc that happens to be what we call a regular medium slice. You can use that for doing um, any type of sliced vegetables or fruit salad or even string beans for French cut string beans. And the last item here, which is your disc, is your shredding disc. Use this for shredding any kind of cheese, like for pizzas or um, any needs like that. To use your disc, you use your stem adapter and you line up the arrow on the disc with the stem adapter. You hold it down and twist it to get it in the right place. Always put your um, disc on a countertop, make sure it's on a flat surface um, when you're mounting your stem adapter. To remove it, you just pull up this lever, twist, and remove it. One of the last items I want to show you is your compact flat cover. This comes in really handy when you're doing tasks that um, are really um, confined to the bottom of the work bowl. So that would be chopping, mixing, pureeing, doing any type of bread dough. Um, make sure that your Cuisinart logo is in the front. You put it down, you twist it to lock it into place. It has a small removable feed tube with a little hole in the bottom. So if you need to incorporate any oil or liquids for emulsion, an emulsification, use that. To remove it, you just twist it, turn it, lift it, and remove it. The last item here is your spatula, which comes with your food processor. Use the flat edge around the work bowl, and that's how you scrape down the sides. Make sure you incorporate everything that you need to incorporate. And then also, um, the food processor comes with a how-to DVD. Make sure you watch it, because it'll give you some great tips and recipe demonstrations that'll give you ideas on how to get the most out of your food processor. So with that, um, today, I'm going to show you something that I like to make for the holidays. I happen to have Thanksgiving every year, so I know how much work it is to put Thanksgiving together. And this is a really quick and easy, no-cook cranberry relish. First, we're going to put in our S blade, because we're going to do some chopping. And we're going to put in the sugar, along with our orange zest. And this is a really cool way to do this. You just put on the lid. I'm actually going to use the flat cover today, so you can see how that um, gets used. So we're just going to pulse. It says for like 45 seconds, but we're going to just, um, now I'm going to put it on until I see the um, peel being totally incorporated. And see how beautiful orange that turned? And the next thing I'm do is I'm going to add um, the rest of the ingredients. I'm going to add the um, cranberries. Now these happen to be frozen. Just want to get those in. <laughs> I 
I'm going to put in my orange slices. The thing I like about this is that this is a dish that is so quick and easy to come together. The last item is the walnuts. I just want to mention that we toasted them to get some extra flavor out of them. We're just going to put those right in the top. Put the flat cover back on. Twist it and turn it to lock it into place. And then we're just going to pulse. Depending on how you like your cranberry lip well, just keep an eye on the process. I like mine really, really smooth. But let me show you this. I'm just going to show you how consistently this came out. Look what a beautiful cranberry relish we made in minutes. And I have to tell you, when I do Thanksgiving, you're cooking for days. So if you can put together something like this just in seconds, and you have a beautiful, fresh cranberry sauce with you know a nutty flavor and a little citrus on it, it couldn't be easier to help you in the kitchen by having a great food processor at your side.